Out of the unfathomable weather gripping the world, South Korea is not the only place suffering from the scorching heat as countries around the world have been experiencing somewhat similar heat waves. Now, especially in the northern hemisphere, new records for boiling temperatures have been set for the month of July. So what are some of the reasons behind such extreme weather? Our Kan hyung tells us more. This summer has been extremely hot across the northern hemisphere. The U.S., Canada, Algeria, Norway, and Japan have been seeing record-breaking temperatures for the month of July and extreme heat waves over the past two months. In Oman, there was one night in June when the lowest it got was 42.6 degrees Celsius, which is believed to be the highest low ever recorded. Experts say the record-breaking temperatures can be explained by rising concentrations of greenhouse gases, which are a major cause of global warming. So the biggest reason for these extreme heat waves is climate change, which is a result of global warming. In climate change, the main effect is rising temperatures. The overall temperature of the Earth keeps going up, but the change gets bigger every year. The World Meteorological Organization predicts that at this rate, the number of so-called heat wave days will double by 2020 and quadruple by 2040. This past June marked the second warmest month on record globally. But experts say the worst of the heat wave may soon be behind us as we approach August. The heat waves are likely to continue, but we probably won't see the extreme temperatures of over 36 degrees Celsius we've had since last weekend. I think the heat waves in Korea will die down because the North Pacific anticyclone tends to shrink in early August. The latest typhoon Chungdari is heading towards Japan and may affect the Korean peninsula, but the Korea Meteorological Administration says the storm's course could change. Kan Young-woo, Arirang News.